been doing this since my mom passed away in 2009. I was in a dark place, like I'll be talking to you like this, and then, you know, I'll be bawling tears when I got home. But, you know, one day I just said, you know, I can't live life like this, you know, so I came up with the idea of uh, dressing up as um, superhero characters and visiting. Uh, I started with the homeless and then I ended up uh, visiting children in the hospital and then it just blew up from there. My mom, who's one of my biggest inspirations, she um, would say that every day is a new day, right? It's a fresh start, new beginning. That was her way of inspiring you to have a good day. So I figured if I'm gonna share that with someone like less fortunate, that I wanna catch them early in the morning. Um, a nice cup of joe in the morning is always like, all right, cool, you know, I'm gonna start my day. It's always that like little motivational tool. You like milk or your coffee? Or you like a black? This black. I usually will get a Cambro. It's a lot bigger than this. And it holds up a few gallons of coffee. And we'll go set up at a park. But today is one of my favorites because I get to be a little bit more personal and drive around the city and see if I see some of the people that I've connected with um, and pull over and give them a care package. Good morning, brother. Would you like a care package or some coffee? So here we have socks care packages made for the homeless and a mask there's a concern there's a worry there's a fear of the unknown because they know something's going on because we're including face masks like disposable face masks um gloves um hand sanitizers extra water so they could wash their hands a lot of the restrooms that they would normally use at your local in and out or burger king or you know liquor stores they're now closed to the public so they don't have access to all that stuff There's a lot of things that I can and can't do. I'm not able to visit um, the hospitals because of this virus and, you know, getting the kids sicker than what they already are. You know, I can't. Um, the way I have been interacting with people is using social media, FaceTime to um, talk with kids dressed up as the superhero. You know, that's one way of keeping them entertained. Eli, I'm Deadpool. Nice to meet you. You did? How old are you? You can't be watching my movie. Okay, you guys be safe out there, okay? People really and don't forget to wear your like mask when you go out. to be in front of each other instead of, you know, having it in front of the phone. But, you know, I'm, I'm doing what I can to, um, you know, keep this going. We've kind of created a distance between ourselves um, just to be careful, but also like providing food. Now we can't buy in bulk like we used to so that we could cook. So now we depend on like McDonald's, for example, the last time we went out the street, we ordered 600 hamburgers from them uh, so that we can have enough to give to everybody. Um, and sometimes we double up and give people two of them. But that's kind of been the, the adjustment to all this is we can't buy stuff in bulk like we used to. Um, and a lot of that's because of hoarding. People are hoarding food and, and buying like so much of, and it's hard for us nonprofits to go and do that. coronavirus affected all of us and that's what's on the news what you hear about it but you don't hear so much of like the hepatitis spread some of the the wounds that they have and the sicknesses and, and there was there wasn't like sanitation stations there before you know so because it affects all of us you hear about it that's the main topic but homeless have been dealing with a lot of sicknesses and illnesses and unsanitary situations before COVID-19. We adapt to the change and that's why the cool thing is about like being personal with people so you can see what their need is. You can't just stereotype every homeless person as drug addicts because there's people that work every day that are homeless. There's families that come that rely on those meals. Like they may be staying in the studio, they may be staying in someone's garage and they go there and they go and they, they get a, a meal from us. A lot of people right now are in a state of shock because they don't know what tomorrow brings. And a lot of these people can't are elderly that I've been visiting. They can't come out, you know, they have to be there at a certain time in the morning. Some of these people can't drive and you have disabled people, you have people with mental issues and all forms of different things going on. But I'm here to be the savior for you so you don't have to be out there. And this family that I'm gonna help today, um, they're a family of six, um, both unemployed now because of the crisis. They have uh, a daughter that's uh, special needs. She takes 20 different medications. Got 300 for food. 
300 for her daughter's meth. How you feeling? Are you excited? Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> the energy I feel from this, you don't even I can't even tell you. I live for this, you know, like, before I know that I have to do something the next day, I can't sleep because I'm just excited about helping people, you know, I probably get three hours of sleep the day before because I'm just so excited every time I have an event, I'm just, I'm excited, it's, it's just like a rush, adrenaline rush and a good feeling because I know that I'm going to help somebody, you know, I feel like a real superhero. So helping the homeless has become like a lifestyle, it's been on my way to the store, on my way to work, on my way to church, on my way home from a family member's house. You know, I always have this eye to see if there's a need where I could help. But I think like building that trust and that relationship with people and letting them know, hey, I care about you. Um, you know, I want to see you do better. There is an opportunity for a, quality, a better quality of life. I just love to be part of the helping, you know, a part of it. And, Whatever we can do to heal and make the world, there's so much negativity, you know? And I just want to be part of the healing that the community needs. My name is Yuri Williams. I'm Jacob Baruch. The founder of A Future Superhero and Friends. Founder of Project Coffee Cup. And I'm here to save humanity. And we help the homeless one cup of coffee at a time. <laughs>